roasted eggplant and a red pepper dip is so good. It even makes the house smell good. I like it on a cracker. Another way I like it is on a slice of cucumber. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's very easy, very delicious. To start making the roasted eggplant and red pepper dip, preheat the oven to 400 and line a baking pan with aluminum foil. Your four main ingredients will be a medium-sized eggplant, one or even two red bell peppers, a large onion or even a medium-sized onion, and four garlic cloves. So I'm going to show you how I chop up the, um, the eggplant first. Use a large flat edge knife to start cutting the eggplant. Cut the end off. You don't need this little bit of an end either. And then I usually cut them into circles that are about mm, three quarters of an inch thick, like this. And after I get them into circles, I'm just going to cut them smaller so that each piece is about anywhere from a half inch square to an inch square. Okay, and you just do that with all of the circles and put them into the large bowl. Keep the peel on and then we'll move on to chopping the other vegetables. Peel the papery part of the onion off and now we're just going to cut the onion into what amounts to chunks. They don't have to be small because once this is all baked and well, roasted they're just going to go in the food processor anyway to make the dip. So just cut the onion like that. Like I said earlier, you can do one or two red bell peppers. The red bell pepper puts, makes a color really nice of this dip. I cut out the center, take out some of the seeds. and I'm not going to show you this, but I rinse it out to get more of the seeds out. And then just cut it into, I'll get the seeds out. <laughs> you can slice it about this big. Again, these pieces are about an inch. You don't have to take out the white part, just the seeds, the water out. And then the last part we have left are four garlic cloves. So with the garlic cloves, you want to make sure that you take all of the papery part out, okay? And then um, what you can do is take a big knife, set it flat side down, and just smash it. Okay? That's what you want to do with all four. If your garlic cloves are really small, you might want to use six. And now we're ready for some olive oil, salt, and pepper. So bring that over. Then get the olive oil. And we're going to do one quarter cup of olive oil. You can use a dry measuring cup if you want, it doesn't matter. And just drizzle it all over. And I need to grab the salt and pepper. And we're going to use one and a half teaspoons of salt. So I use Celtic sea salt, and when it gets down to the bottom, it's hard to get a whole teaspoon out. How funny is that? I probably need to refill my container. <laughs> Guess what? The battery ran out. <laughs> just as I was finishing putting the salt on. So it was one and a half teaspoons of salt 
and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Sprinkle it on in the bowl, and then I tossed it. <laughs> I didn't realize the batteries were out. I tossed it in the bowl with two big spoons or two big spatulas to get as many of the vegetables oiled and salted and peppered as possible. Then I poured all of the vegetables onto the foil line tray, and now we're ready to put it in the oven. We've already preheated the oven for 45 degrees. I'm going to put this in the middle rack and it's going to bake at 400 degrees for 45 minutes. After the 45 minutes are up, make sure you have a cooling rack on your counter. Take out the vegetables and set it on the cooling rack and let it cool completely. After the vegetables are cool, you're going to scoop them up and put all of them into the food processor. I'm just using a spatula here to make sure that they're not attached to the foil, and I'm going to dump them bit by bit, scoop by scoop, into the food processor. What's it's in there? Turn it on. You can stop to scrape it down. And you can decide how chunky you like it. If you put in two or three red peppers, you're going to get more of a reddish orangish color, which is actually nice. I like that. Um, you can also make less by, um, you know, just using a smaller eggplant. And let's see. I might give it one more word. Done. You can serve this on a cracker. I also like it served on um, a slice of cucumber is good. That's actually refreshing. But that or crackers or a little crostini type bread that's been toasted is good too. So that's how you make eggplant red pepper. I guess it's called roasted eggplant and red pepper dip.